Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will learn how to make this beautiful beaded flower. For me, this is going to be a brooch. I'm just going to attach a brooch pin at the back. But in the future, I will show you some jewelry designs with these beautiful components. So if you don't want to miss it, please subscribe to my channel. And for now, let's get started. This project consists of three parts. In the first part, we will bezel a rivoli. In the second part, we will make the base for our flower. And in the third part, we will embellish our base with 3mm Swarovski bikons. If you don't have 3mm Swarovski bikons, you can use any 3mm beads or you can replace them with seed bead size 11 -0. For the first part of this project, for bezel and rivoli, you will need seed beads Delica, size 11 no, seed beads size 50 no, and the rivoli, this is Swarovski rivoli, 14 millimeters. One thing to mention that this pattern will also work with a rivoli size 16 millimeters. The only difference is going to be in the initial numbers of Delicas. Prepare your thread with a comfortable lens and a needle. And for the 14 mm Rivoli, thread 36 Delicas. And for the 16 mm Rivoli, thread 40 Delicas. Okay, guys, I've got 36 Delicas on my thread. And this is for the Rivoli of 14 mm. For the Rivoli 16 mm, you will need 40 Delicas. And now we are going to make a loop and go through all delicas one more time with your thread. Pass your tail. And this is what you should get. Now we are going to use period stitch to bezel a rivoli. This is very easy uh, stitch to follow. There are lots of information on YouTube how to do it. Pick up one Delica, um, I am coming out of this Delica, I'm skipping the next Delica and entering the Delica which is next to it, just like that, so skipping one Delica, Oops. pull your thread, And what you should get, you should get two delicas next to each other and one delica in the middle. Now pick up one delica. I'm coming out of this delica. Skip the next one and enter the delica which is next to it. Pull your thread. And this is the sequence you should have. Two delicas, one delica, two delicas, one delica. And you will repeat this till you get to the end of this row. And I will show you how to do a step up. Okay, guys, I'm about to add last delica of this row. Pick up one delica and I am skipping. I'm coming out of this delica. I'm skipping the next one and entering the last delica of this row, which is next to to two delicas and I'm going through that last delica and going up through that delica which is next to it so the top delica okay now we've done a step up and you should get something like this coming out of delica and now we will add one delica between delicas which are sticking out like we're going to fill those gaps between delicas. One more with you. Coming out of this delica and going into the next delica, which is sticking out to fill that gap. Right. Repeat this step till you get to the end of this row. And I will see you then. Okay, guys, I'm going to add last delica with you. Put your ring around uh, on your finger, around your finger to make it flat. 
just like that and now I'm going to add my last delica to fill this last gap and going through two delicas one delica is from previous row and the top delica is from this new row we just added and pull your thread right For now we're finished with delicas and what we are going to do we're going to add our 50 nose into these gaps between delicas pick up one 50 now you're coming out of delica and you're going into the next delica to fill that gap between them those delicas which are sticking out and at this point you need to pull your thread tight one more with you coming out of this delica and entering the next one and pull your thread okay i will see you at the end of this row i've got my last 50 now to add to fill that gap between delicas i'm going into my last delica and through the first 50 now all together and that's how we're doing a step up your thread so now we're coming out of a 50 now and we're going to fill those gaps between 50 nodes pick up one 50 now and into the next 50 now which is sticking out one more with you Carry on like that till you get to the end of this row. Okay, guys, I've got one last 50 now to add. So I'm coming out of a 50 now, going into the next 50 now. And at this point, we are not going to do any step up. Ideally, you want to go one more round um, to go through all your 50 nodes to make this uh, row tight. And this is time to add, to place our Rivoli into this bezel. Just like that, face up. Mine already tied because my tension, uh, because of my tension, I really pull my thread tight. Don't worry if you're really wobbling. You probably need one more row of 50 nodes at the back if you feel like it's not holding it. But for me, this is enough. It's okay to have two, three rows of 50 nodes at the back and in the front. Okay, two rows for me, it's enough. But again, guys, that's because I've got uh, my tension. I, I pull my thread too tight. Right, so for now, we are going to navigate our thread that way that we are coming out of Delica in the first row. Doesn't matter which way you're going, just make sure you're coming out of Delica in the first row. And now we are going to add 50 nodes between those gaps the same way like we've done at the back pick up one 50 now coming out of this delica which is sticking out and into the next delica skipping one and filling that gap skipping one between them okay pull your thread one 50 now and into the next delica which is sticking out okay and i will see you at the end of this row okay guys i'm just going to fill that last gap between two delicas and i'm going into the delica and i'm doing a step up and going into the first 50 now just like that pull your thread Okay, 
my rivoli is already tied i can actually like stop bezeling right here but i will still add another row of 50 nose with you and we will fill those gaps between two 50 nose pick up one 50 now coming out of a 50 now and going into the next 50 now and pull your thread okay just like that i will see you at the end of this row okay guys i'm adding my last 50 now filling that gap and into the next 50 now and we finished battling our rivoli need to adjust it so that it looks pretty and symmetrical okay so we finished bezeling our rivoli that's how it looks at the front and at the back if your rival is still wobbling it's okay to go to make a third row of 50 nose and pull your thread tight okay but mine is already good good enough okay guys welcome to the second part of our project we just finished bezeling our rivoli and for the second part we will need seed beads size 11 0 my main color is going to be black seed beads i'm going to repeat the same color pattern here and my second color is green seed bead size 11 0 but this is optional i'm going to use them just to make this pattern a bit easier right we're coming out of a 50 no and what's important right now that if we look um, at our bezel from the side we will see that we actually have four rows of delica sort of zigzaggy one two three four and we need to come out of the second row of delicas from the front okay so advance your needle I'm coming out of this 50 now, which is a first row, and I'm just going through the next two delicas, and I'm coming out of the second row of delicas, just like that. Now pick up one black, one green, one black, just like that, and we're coming out of this delica in the second row we're skipping the next delica from the same row from the second row and entering the delica from the second row which is straight after it and this is what you should get it's yeah three seed beads now we're making another set of one black, one green, one black. I'm coming out of this delica. I'm skipping the next delica from the same row and entering the next delica after it. And repeat this step till you get to the end of your row. In total, you should have nine of these sets of three I will see you at the end of this row okay guys I'm adding my nines sets of three this is the last one to complete this row if you bezel in a 16 millimeter rivoli then you will have 10 of them and I am entering that delic the last delica and if you can go through the next two seed beads one black and one green all together because we need to come out of this green, this middle seed bit, green seed bit. Now the set is going to be two black seed beads, one green and two black. Just like that. We're coming out of the green 
seed bead and we're entering the next green okay just like that repeat this till you get to the end of this row i am adding my last set of five coming out of this green seed bead entering the next green seed bead where we started uh, adding our sets of five it's just here and go through the next three seed beads two black and one green okay i'm going to do it step by step so i'm coming out of my green seed bead and going through the next three of that of those five we added yeah, to make sure that we are coming out of the green seed bit of this last row we added now the set is going to be three black seed beads one green and three black just like that coming out of the green seed bead and entering the next seed bead green seed bead pull your thread and repeat the step till the end of this row i am adding my last set of seven going through the green through the green seed bead and through the next three black seed beads and the green one just like that so i'm coming out of this now the set is going to be four black seed beads one green and four black so it's nine seed beads in total coming out of this green seed bead and entering the next green seed bead Okay. pull your thread and I will see you at the end of this row I'm adding my last nine beads of this row I've got them already ready in my thread going into the green seed bead into the green seed bead and if you can go through the next four black seed beads and the green Just like that to come out of the green seed bit of the last row we added should look like this now the set is going to be five black seed beads one green and five black so, so this time it is 11 seed beads coming out of the green seed bead and entering the next green seed bead I repeat it till you get to the end of your row I've got my last 11 seed beads to add and I'm entering the green the, the green seed bead and go up through the next six seed beads to come out of the green seed bead now there is going to be a um, slight a change to our set we are going to pick up 13 black seed beads this time it's without any green seed beads because we actually now going to do the petals the outer petals of the flower so i've got 13 black seed beads coming out of the green seed bead and entering the next green seed bit. Add 13 black seed bits between these green seed bits at the top and I will see you at the end of this row. Okay guys, I'm adding my last 13 seed bits and going through into the green. pull your thread and at this point I want to congratulate you 
because we finished our two parts of our project. We bezeled our rivoli and we finished the base for our flower. Now let's go into our third part of our project. 